Good morning. This is Greg. Look at that. Ten pounds of blackberries. Today we're going to make blackberry wine. All right, what you're going to need, you're going to need some yeast nutrient, three teaspoons. Some acid blend, three teaspoons. Three Camden tablets. Some pectic enzyme. And I've done mixed it all up in my measuring cup. You need a big pot to mash up the blackberries. Star sand, restaurant grade sanitizer, and I done got some of that in my squirt bottle. A clean carboy and some other stuff you'll need. Measuring spoons, measuring cups, a mash bag and a big rubber band and a big spoon. Potato mashers to mash up your grapes. Cylinder and a turkey baster and your hydrometer. And then your airlock and your cap. Here's the recipe. And I'm going to try to show you. I've done mixed up my sugar. 13 and a half cups of sugar. And I'm going to try. I've done got some stuff mixed up together. So I'm going to try to do this. All in one batch. And I think I've got it figured out. To where we can do it all at one time. Without cutting this silly phone off. All right, so let's get this thing going here. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. I'm going to take this back, bunch of blackberries and we're going to pour them into the big pot. I've done set them out and let them thaw overnight. I'm going to take my tomato mash, potato masher. I'm going to mash them all up. Let me take this stuff out of the way here. Set it out of the way. And I'm going to take my ingredients I've already mixed up. Put them into the carboy. Take my recipe and set it out of the way because we don't want to get it wet. But I'm going to take my potato masher and we're going to mash these blackberries up. Blackberries I got down at the berry patch down in Ellerby a couple days ago. Along with a bunch of uh, muscadines, I got golden scupper knobs, and I got some big black muscadines also, so them some upcoming batches of wine we're going to make, but today we're making homemade blackberry. Homemade blackberry, this will be a three gallon batch. And that, you freeze the blackberries to start with it actually starts the fermentation process and it makes it a little bit easier to mash them up also but you get everything mashed up pretty good you don't want to use a blender or any kind of electronic processor you want to do it by hand But it don't take me just a few minutes to mash this stuff. And the two, three Camden tablets I mixed up, you put one Camden tablet for each gallon that you're making. Camden tablets, it breaks down the natural yeast in the berries and kind of sanitizes the batch before you get started. You need to wait 24 hours after you mix it up before you put the yeast in to get to start. All right, that looks like a good, a good batch. Everything's been sanitized with star sand to start with. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my mesh bag. I'm going 
will set the mesh bag down inside of here. And to keep it from falling all the way down in here, I got a big rubber band. I like to take this big rubber band here. The rubber band's been sanitized also. I like to take that big rubber band and put it on top here. Take my big spoon. We're going to spoon this in here. The rubber band keeps it from falling straight down to the bottom. If you didn't put the rubber band on it, it would just fall down to the bottom and you would, wouldn't get half of this stuff in the mesh bag. But the mesh bags to keep, keep the pulps, keep all the pulps in the bag. Like I said, this will make a three gallon batch of blackberry vine. Once you get most of it out, once you get most of it out, then you can tilt it up like this and kind of scrape it in. Try not to make a mess because this stuff will stain anything you got on. And I've already mixed up 13 and a half cups of water. Uh, 13 and a half cups of sugar. You don't want to boil it, but you want to get it hot enough that it will dissolve. Put a little bit of water in there to get all the juices out. And go on and pour it in here also. I can set this pot out of the way. And once you get all that, all your fruits into the must bag, you can take the rubber band off. You can kind of twist it into a knot twist it up twist it up like this where you can tie it into a knot so that the pulps will stay in there Let's try not to spill it. There you go. You got 10 pounds of blackberries into the pulp bag.
Now, like I said, I've already, already dissolved 13 and a half cups of sugar. So we're going to pour the 13 and a half cups of dissolved sugar into the batch. Here's your three gallon line. You can go on and put some more water in here. You want to let the sugar cool down to room temperature. You don't want it too hot because you'll damage the carboy. This is a plastic carboy. You don't want to boil the sugar, but you want to get it hot enough that it will dissolve it. Then let it cool down to room temperature before you pour it in. Then you can fill this back up to the three gallon line. And try not to get it all over you. And being I got this pulp bag in here, I can go a little bit more than three gallons. Right now I'm trying to make sure I got all the sugar out of this pot. There's a three gallon mark, but we can go a little bit above it. Go a little bit more. There you go. There's three gallons of blackberry wine mixed up. Now we need to wait 24 hours before we put in the yeast. Like I said, we're going to use Red Star Premier Blanc, Cote de Blancs yeast, but we need to wait 24 hours after mixing it before we put it in because we want the Camden tablets to take out the natural yeast in the fruits and to basically cleanse the fruits. But we can test it now. Let me take my hydrometer out. And we'll sanitize the hydrometer. This is done being sanitized, but we'll sanitize it again. Just for good measures. We'll fill our cylinder up with juice. And we'll get a reading and see what we're starting out at. Drop our hydrometer down in here. 1.10 that should be about 
Oh, that's spot on. That's 12 and a half percent. Let's write that down so we know what our starting gravity is. One point one zero. Projected alcohol by volume is about 12.5%. So there you go. That should be about a 12.5% alcohol by volume. Now for the first 24 hours... I'm not going to put an airlock on it. I'm just going to take a take a washcloth. I'm going to put the cap on it, but I'm going to just take a washcloth and cover it like that and let it breathe for the first 24 hours so that those natural yeast and gases can escape. And then in 24 hours, we will come back and add the yeast in. And then we'll put the airlock on it and put it in a dark, cool space for 7 to 14 days. That's how you make wine. That's homemade musk, uh, blackberry wine, three gallons. I hope everybody enjoyed the video today. Until next time, this is Greg signing off. Goodbye.